Hi guys, it's Cassie and today I'm going to be talking about my worst luxury purchases of 2021. So whether it's a quality issue, whether it's something that like I tried to make it work for me and my style and it just didn't quite work out, or if I love it but there are downsides of it that I think need to be mentioned, We've got, we've got all of them today. Guys, if you are new here, my name is Cassie and I'm a self-diagnosed luxury addict. I put out videos on Mondays, Wednesdays and Fridays, so if you like luxury fashion, then you're probably gonna love it here. So head down that subscribe, turn on the bell, become a member of our luxury addicted family. When are we going to rehab? <laughs> Never. Guys, are you ready? Let's go. Item number one, the Kate Danielle jeans. These are a sort of straight leg, Mid, no medium to light wash jean, all great, okay? So I went on a little bit of a journey a few months ago where, you know, straight leg jeans, basically non-skinny jeans are in. And I thought, let me have a go. I'm, I'm willing to, to go on this adventure. Some adventures aren't for all of us, okay? So I did a whole video where I tried on, I don't even know, maybe like six, five or six pairs of jeans, I don't know. And out of all of them, I at the time I really, really liked how I looked in these, right? Then I wore them properly for a day. And at the beginning we were fine. And then as the day went on, I was like, I feel more and more uncomfortable in these jeans. And I thought, okay, maybe it's just because I'm only really used to wearing skinny jeans and whatever else. No, I hated every second of it. Um, also, I was taking pictures that day. And let me just tell you, of the potentially over a hundred pictures that were taken of me, there was literally only one singular full length picture that I thought I looked nice in, in these jeans. And it's from the sod inside. Because at the front, all of this was Gather McGatherson, okay? And it was all things jutting out that really shouldn't be jutting out. <sighs> Look, I just think for my body sh shape, Skinny jeans are the most flattering. I think my hips are hipping a bit too much for me to um, to to feel comfortable in these, to be honest with you. The clothes are meant to make you feel good, okay? You're not meant to feel like, oh God, I hope nobody looks in this direction. You know, you're meant to feel like, oh, me? I could rule the world, Coldplay. It's not even Coldplay, it's take that. That's how clothes should make you feel. This honestly made me want to crawl in a ditch and die. So, absolute opposite of what? clothes should do for you. So I don't know if I'm going to sell them or what. I don't know. Okay, item number two, I spoke about in my luxury items I sold in Y video. I bought the Dior Addict sneakers earlier this year and I absolutely loved them from the word go. I just loved every single element of this, hence I went and bought it, all right? And then what happened with these shoes is something that you can only know that you hate until you've been in these shoes for about 15 minutes. My toes went numb. That's not really something that should be happening. A few of you guys have had the same issue. I don't understand how that happens, but it's happened and it's happened to a few of us. So I ended up selling those. What a shame, again, because you're not gonna realize until you start, you know, actually using the shoes and getting your feet going in it. And then you realize, hold on a second. Where did my toes go? So there you go. All right, item number three. So I bought this earlier on in the year and I do still use it. It's just that I'm a bit disappointed with the quality. It is this Saint Laurent chain belt, right? Very cool. I love the chain element of it, all of this business, right? Black leather, what, what could go wrong? Here's the thing. So the leather is very soft. You could stroke it all day. Oh yes, supple, love it. Mm, that's a nice leather, that until you kind of start to realize that it's so soft that it almost doesn't do its job correctly. <laughs> but look at the shape of that. That is literally, it's warped it. It's warped it and that is not me doing anything particularly, you know, exciting with this belt. It's literally through using the belt, it has now started to dip and all of that business and that is not something that should be happening this is purely because this belt is very really quite thin and too soft that it's already bending i have worn this belt 10 times let's say or a little bit less than that that shouldn't be happening we've got dippy dipping dipping and dots okay and i'm not very happy with the quality of this the other thing that can get a bit annoying 
I was under the impression actually when I bought this that this was stationary. I thought that that was rock solid. It didn't need to be, you know, individual links. It really didn't need to have that. In a ring, yes. In a belt, I don't need this. Jingle jangling all the way, just in time for Christmas apparently, but yeah. So this has annoyed me a bit. Do I still wear it occasionally? Yes. I like the look of it. It's just such a shame on those quality aspects and just things that don't make sense. Okay, next up, I absolutely love these, but we had a little bit of a teething issue. I've now come across a workaround for it and I absolutely love using them, but at the beginning, Things are not this easy. These are the Prada double wheel sneakers. Now, my issue was, I don't know why I expected these to wear like leather when they're not. These are nylon, all right? And the back of it, so they're not gonna soften up. So you've got to get the size that works for you because it's not gonna open up anymore, right? Now, sizing I was fine. The issue was this bit at the back that I assumed the more you wear it, you know, you break it in and all of that. No, there is no breaking in nylon. So every time I'd wear these shoes, it was blister city, right? Because it was just eaten in and it wasn't, you know, opening up at all. So as a workaround for this, because I obviously still wanted to wear them because I love them, I have got, hold on, I'll show you them individually. I put one of these little, um, what would we even call them? These little felt gel here, heel inserts. You can get them in beige and black. And my gosh, oh, smooth, glorious. It's a, it's a fabulous experience walking in these. I've had zero issues since, okay? I'll link the exact ones that I got below, but absolutely changed the game. But yes, that's something that now I'm a little bit more astute with, like, okay, if we're not leather, what do we need to take into account? All right, the next one, Again, I love it, and this is a me issue. This is the AZ Factory My Body Dress, okay? Zero quality issues. This is fantastic quality, and I absolutely love the material. I need you to see this. I want you to see if you can see the bounce. Can you see the bounce? Can you see how like gloriously stretchy but thick this material is? So, so nice. My, my issue is I never go for anything strappy. I don't know why. I don't mind like, oh, let's do a bit of cleavage, fine. I don't mind, let's get the legs out. But for some reason, here, being strappy is um, a bit weird to me. And I don't know why. And I think that it's almost the combination of it being strappy and bodycon makes me feel even more like a little bit like, mm. So I do really like the way that this dress looks and I will wear it but you will probably never see me without a jacket wearing this dress. I think I really tried to go outside of my comfort zone and do something that like, oh my gosh, other people don't have this issue, Cassie. So get over it. And um, uh, it seems as though maybe I can't. So yes, there are workarounds, but it's a worst, it's one of the bad buys for me because um, I didn't listen to myself. Right, next up, this was just stupidity. I'm not gonna lie to you. And it's, and it's not even for the reasons that you'd think. So I bought these Paris, Texas Holly sandals um, for my birthday. And it was because there was a matches fashion, like voucher thing. And I was like, oh, let's see what's included. And these shoes were there and I was like, oh my gosh, crystals, yes. I don't have a white pair of shoes. Now is the time. Why did I pick the white? They did have them in green, Cassie just you should have just gone for the green and had like a little tinkerbell moment all right because the first from the first moment i put my feet in this filth all right you probably can't see that well on camera but to me they look filthy second of all this little section here strangulation strangulation of the toes just oh give us half an inch more we would have been fine but no so that's insufferable and here's the thing all of this could have happened and I could have returned them like a normal person, but no, birthday adrenaline kicked in and she took all the sodding tags off, didn't she? So this was not my finest hour. This next item I love, but I want to talk about it from a perspective of cost per wear because I've worn it a grand total of one times this year. This Gucci belt, where are we? There we go, <laughs> this is the Gucci belt. I love it, I'm glad I have it, 
for when the time does come we can hit it hard but i just think that we have to have a, have a conversation about cost per wear and maybe also this is an opportunity for me to remind myself to reach for it right maybe i just need to put it in a place that is a little bit more like come on cassie i exist to the eyes that i reach for it in outfits that it works because at the moment i literally once once for this glorious belt are you kidding me so this is mainly a, a public service announcement to myself to sod in sort yourself out and get her slanging around the waist you know i have one more item for you and i featured them in my best purchases of this year video but there is one flaw of these shoes that i just need to let everybody know in case you're considering buying them or if you have them and you're like i just want to make sure that this is happening to everyone and not just me the glorious glorious muck and muck double match and match whatever double bow heels absolute show excuse me my mother here lies the issue the way that you have to have like some of these straps crossing over each other at the back means that if you look very closely some of the crystals start to rub on each other and then fall off so there are some like tiny patches where they've fallen off here's a good one now i don't i have a feeling that this is because these ropes of crystals are literally ropes of glue right like i've gone digging all right they are literally glue and the crystals are then shoved in at all the angles but it means that because this rope is still soft i don't know how to describe it, it's very strange then they're gonna knock each other out if they're rubbing on each other they're going to, to remove themselves from the glue and fall okay there is a way i have heard that there is a way for you to wear these where they like don't overlap each other but this way where they do overlap each other is the most comfortable way for me <laughs> to buckle them is it the best thing in the world that this is happening no this thing just shouldn't happen right there should be a workaround for this but i love them too much to care and i don't know if that's a good or a bad thing they're only really like balding at the back so nobody's seen it anyway that's how my my mind processes things guys there you go let me know what you think of my worst purchase let me know what's been your worst purchase of 2021 i'm going to leave a link to another video here in case you haven't already seen it have an amazing morning afternoon or evening wherever you are and in the words of my father if you've enjoyed it tell your friends if you haven't keep your mouth shut i'll see you in my next video Mwah. bye guys